Hi guys, it's Nikki with Nikki Speaks and I am back with another video. But before we get into this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and turn on your notifications. All right, guys, let's go ahead and dive right into Sweetie. For the past couple of days, Baby Girl has been trending and it has not been for a good reason. So as many of you guys may or may not know, she did recently drop her EP entitled The Single Life. And listen, I am going to assume that a lot of people knew absolutely nothing about this because listen, the people are saying that she is projected to sell only 2,000 copies, which is horrible. Now, I do have to ask the question, you know what were we really expecting i also have to ask the question does sweetie really have fans like that i know that she calls her stands the icy gang but you know how effective is this icy gang because i am not personally a fan of sweetie's music i think that she's been successful in the past with radio play and i think that's what's made her songs that have gone platinum i think that's what made them successful that's just my opinion you guys let me know what you think down in the comment section about that but let's go ahead and get into these uh 2000 copies so listen there was a lot of people that had things to say a record producer hitmaker took to twitter and said sweetie selling 2k is bad a and r vibes someone's supposed to tell tell you this ain't it i also have issues with her having multiple platinum singles and not sticking with the same formula that got her here someone got to get fired listen i absolutely wholeheartedly agree with everything he said i agree with everything that he said i mean what she stuck to that made her made her songs go platinum was not necessarily the caliber of songs it wasn't necessarily songs in my opinion I think that it was her likability and her likability came from her social media content. She did great promotion on Instagram, on Twitter. If you remember, she did the cute little skits that used to always go viral with her Birkins. You would find her on the neighborhood. You would find her on the shade room because she did those little skits. She always came to social media with all of her brand deals and all of that always went viral as well on social media. That kept her in the forefront and kept her likable. So so every time she did drop something and she got radio play, it just kind of made that song, you know, just go 10 times harder. And that's something that she did not do with this particular drop. Now, keep in mind, it's just an EP. You know, it is just an EP, but it's not a good look. The 2000 um, sold is not a good look. She did take the social media and she did do a little clapping back on yesterday by tweeting i make music for pretty bees if you can't relate i understand listen that was not going over well with the fans you had some people that were saying so why didn't they buy it you had somebody saying okay miss 2000 then uh, someone went on to say, so you're calling 99% of women ugly. Somebody else said, not we ugly because you can't rap. Somebody else said, I guess I'm ugly because that ish trash poo. Listen, they were not letting up. I think, in my opinion, that was the wrong way to address the situation. I mean, take your loss, but let's not try to, first of all, let's not try to use reverse psychology, you know, on the general public. And then let's not try blaming the general public. Let's go back to your camp and figure out where you went wrong with this release. Again, I mean, it is an EP. I think that she could definitely bounce back with it when it comes to promo, when it comes to content. You know, Sweetie is top tier. She knows how to go back into her bag. So I, I think that she can definitely pull this out with another radio hit, you know, as long as she's getting radio play. And as we know, that's just a matter of connection. Listen, you know, I think that personally she can bounce back. Will she bounce back? I don't know. You guys let me know what you think down in the comment section. People are saying that Sweetie's career is over. I don't think her career is necessarily over. I consider her more of, you know, a star than a music artist or a rapper. I think that, you know, she can go on to act and do other things, even if music is kind of at the end of the road for her. But you guys let me know what you think that in the comment section. And I'll talk to you guys on the next video.